Hi, welcome to this video. So, on August 16th, the sun trined Uranus exactly. So the sun is in Leo, trining Uranus in Aries. Um, when the sun is in Leo, this helps our expression to be fuller and to allow ourselves to really come through more in any situation. And we are a lot more creative as well. When Uranus is involved, Uranus helps us to be more unique and innovative in our approaches, as well as being able to contribute more to a group situation. So right now we can really express who we are in a community setting and be more ourselves and be more open about the things that we enjoy and the interests that we have. And another thing that's been coming up quite a lot lately is uh, new technologies that have major repercu repercussions for the future and a lot of innovative things uh, coming out these days. Well, especially, you know, I mean, it's been happening anyway, but it's very uh, noticeable lately. And Uranus retrograde um, has already shown, like, the day that it went retrograde, uh, my printer broke down, my Blu-ray player broke down, and I think something else also, uh, oh yeah, my laptop broke down. So that was like three different things in one day that got effed up. <laughs> and that was when Uranus went retrograde, so I thought that was crazy, especially considering, you know, people always say Mercury retrograde does all this stuff, while well, Uranus retrograde does it as well, because Uranus rules technology, so it makes total sense. Um, yeah, and then on August 17th, Venus is going to try and Pluto exactly. Venus in Virgo and Pluto in Capricorn. So this is going to uh, allow for creativity to blossom from the depths. So any really intense experiences you might have had or like intense emotions or anything like that can really be channeled through something really creative. It's also an awesome time for intimacy in your relationships. So you can express deeper feelings and uh, transform uh, any hidden stuff that might need to be transformed. Um, if you aren't in a relationship, then you could find deeper intimacy with someone and uh, maybe find a partner even. And another thing too, since they're both in earth signs, Virgo ruling like service to others and then Capricorn ruling your status and your career, uh, you could express a deeper part of yourself in your career or uh, really channel more creativity into your career as well. Full Moon in Aquarius occurs at 2.27 a.m. on August 18th, uh, and that's Pacific time. So with the Full Moon in Aquarius, um, there will be more chance for you to express yourself in a group setting, and you might find uh, that you're at a peak in terms of your community situation or your friend situation. You might be uh, feeling more full when it comes to your friendships. And um, there could be even some intensity in that situation, perhaps um, more expression of emotion could be had, um, as well as expression of your creativity and um, like I was saying with the Sun trying Uranus, expression of who you are and really what you can contribute to the group can be shown more easily, especially because of the Sun and Leo being opposing to that. So these are good times indeed for um, community and technology and all kinds of innovation and new ideas, genius insights, and self-expression that can be had. Anyways, have an awesome time and I'll talk to you again as soon as I can. <laughs>